Hello and welcome to more Pokemon Yellow! Before we get going guys, we need to have a talk. I need to tell you guys the situation right now. So last night I was working on a main channel video and I was up much later than I probably should have been working on that. And here's the thing. I went to sleep and I set my alarm to wake up at a reasonable time so I could get this video out for you guys at a reasonable hour. And it happens, my alarm clock has a very finicky power switch, and it didn't go off. So I slept in way too late, and I still want to get this video to you guys at a good hour. So, I've currently been awake for about five minutes. I woke up, turned on my computer, said hi to Clevy, and I'm now recording. So this is the situation. I want to get this video out for you guys. Let's get going. Boom. Wait, boom. <coughs> oh my gosh. I have a cough for some reason. But, let's go and play some Pokemon Yellow! Now we have a few things to do today. I gotta think what I want to do first. I think the first order of business is gonna be talking to this lady right here. I just caught a Squirtle that was always getting into mischief. I think it needs a good trainer to set it straight. Well, apparently I'm not a good trainer yet. Hopefully I can come back at some point and be that. Now, I don't, don't really need to heal that much at the Pokemon Center, but there's one thing I want to get from the PC. So right over here, I am going to withdraw a particular Pokemon. I caught this quite a while ago, and a Toot Fairy, there we go. I'm going to withdraw that. Now you might be wondering why, and that'll become apparent at a later time. I'm also going to use a TM we have here. Things might be starting to come together. Uh, where is it? TM44, is that the one? That is not the one. Where is it? Did I deposit it? Hold on. Aha, there it is. I was looking for the TM Dig, so I'm actually going to teach that to... What? What? Curtis can't learn Dig? Oh no! Never mind! I guess I'm not going to teach them Dig. Crud. And I'm also going to be taking out Brute Root. So, there we go. And I deposited a bunch of TMs that I didn't need and a couple of other items like the SS Ticket. I don't need that anymore. And we're going to use HM01. We're going to teach that to Brute Root. So now Brute Root learned Cut! Excellent! Anyways, now with our haphazard team here, we're gonna go down this way, because guys, it is time for the Vermilion City Gym! Let's go! Screw you, lady. I don't want your Squirtle anymore. Let's go, Brute Root. Doesn't even matter that Toot Fairy is still hurt. But now that we have Cut, we can cut down that tree, and we can actually access the gym. I have a feeling this is some kind of bizarre conspiracy. I need you to get Cut, so it drives customers to the SSN so they can get cut from the cut trainer guy. This is all a big scheme to get more people to the SSN, guys. Wow. But here we have a sailor. I probably should have sent out my Pikachu to the front. I think Matilda... No, Pikachu is in the front. Why would I want... Wait, he was a sailor that has a Magnemite. Never mind. I guess I'll just use Slam. I, I think Curtis would be better here. Sonic Boom, that's going to hurt. That's going to do exactly 20 damage. So that, two more of those will kill me. Let me see if I can take him out with two more slams before that happens. Probably not. Well, he's just doing tackle here, so that's... Wow, that was a critical and did a lot of damage. Great. And I'll just do a quick attack to finish him off. Gonna be down to 2 HP, but Pikachu's gonna be fine. Okay. Well, Pikachu almost dead from one trainer. Excellent. Not quite level 25 yet, but that's fine. Let's go and put, let's go ahead and put Matilda up front. They could use the experience the most. Now, Curtis will be very useful here due to his, his uh, ground typing. I tried to teach him Dig because I figured that would be excellent against these electric Pokemon, but turns out he can't learn it. I had no idea. I could have sworn I had Dig on one of the Nidoking and Pokemon Stadium, but just because they have it in Stadium doesn't necessarily mean it's something they can learn. So here we have a level 20 Voltorb. I don't think he'll be much of a challenge. Matilda, as an Alakazam at this level, has such high special. I think their base special stat is 135, which is just ridiculous. Most Pokemon, um, almost every Pokemon, I think aside from Mewtwo, has lower than uh, Matilda. So I'll stay in, probably for all three of these Pokemon here. I think this gym has three trainers, so not a whole ton. But the first gym had one, the second gym had two. And this one has three, so I don't know if they go in ascending order. I don't know if the f if four has four, five has five. 
and so on, but maybe that's how it works. I've never actually paid attention to that. It would be so convenient if I could just one-shot these guys, but oh well. Two confusions, boom! Take them down. Good job, Matilda. Let's go beat that last trainer. Fried! I don't know if I can fry you with confusion, but if, if, if you say so. And here's the last guy right here. It looks like another gentleman. When I was in the army, Lieutenant Surge was my strict coup. I think that's commanding officer. I, I don't know. See you. Gentleman. In Pokemon Stadium, they call these guys old man. That's why I kept getting it mixed up. Level 22 Voltorb. The level 21s before, I was almost two-shotting. So these guys should... Or they, I was almost one-shotting them. So these guys should be easy two shots. Yep. He will drop my defense there, so if the next one comes in and uses tackle, it might hurt, but I don't think it's going to be too bad. There we go. That's still not going to get me to level 24. Magnemite's coming in. Now he might use Sonic Boom, not afraid of that. Tackle, not really afraid of that either. Might not two shot him though. And his Sonic Boom even missed. I didn't even know that move could miss. And there we go. There's that level 24 I was looking for. There's not any particular reason why I wanted 24. It's just just a thing, guys. But Stop! You're very good! Okay, well, now the trick to this one. You can see these doors are blocking off Lieutenant Surge. We have to talk to these trash cans and look for a switch. So, just talk to all the trash cans and see if there's a switch inside any of these. No? Come on. And before I have to talk to every trash can. Oh, there's one. So now once you find the switch, the next switch, you have to find two switches in a row. The next switch is going to be in a trash can adjacent to the one you found. I'm pretty sure that means it's either this one or this one. So it's kind of a 50-50 coin toss. I'm going to go ahead and say this one. And here it is, the second one. Nice. So we have the two switches. I'm going to put Curtis up to the front. He is going to be the best for this. Now, this gym leader is only going to have one Pokemon, so it's going to be pretty high level. Tin Hut, welcome to Vermilion Gym. Will you look at that? A pint sized challenger. Ha ha ha. You've got a big and brassy nerves to take me on with your puny power. A Pokemon battle is war. I'll show you, civilian. I'll shock you into surrender. Me and Clubby actually last night just watched the Lieutenant Surge episode of the anime, and he. He constantly referred to Ash as baby, and you can imagine Ash did not like that one bit. But here we have Raichu, just like in the anime, all he has is a Raichu. Level 28, so pretty high. I'm gonna go right into Thrash here. He's trying to use Thunderbolt, which is I'm completely immune to. I didn't even think he would do that. Does he not have Body Slam or anything? He's gonna use an X Speed. If I two-shot this gym leader, that would be hilarious to me. No, not quite. Wow, he's trying to use Thunderbolt still. What is wrong with you? Well, that was officially the easiest gym leader ever. You can't even say I was overleveled because he has a level 28. I'm only level 26. That was just him being completely awful using Thunderbolt. Well, that was a thing. So thank you very much for the Thunder Badge, good sir. It will crank up my Pokemon speed and let my Pokemon use Fly anytime. My special. Oh, I'm special. Okay. And I get TM24, that will contain Thunderbolt. I could teach that to my Pikachu now, but he's going to learn Thunderbolt at 26 anyways. So as much as I hate to say it, I am going to wait for that because... <sighs> well, at level 25, I'm going to be taking Pikachu back into my Pokemon Stadium playthrough. And I wish he would have Thunderbolt for that, but I don't think it's worth teaching him. We'll just have to struggle with Thundershock. So we're not quite done here in Vermilion City. There's one thing I want to do right here. Which is the Pokemon Fan Club. All Pokemon fans, welcome. If we go inside here, you can notice a... Oh, Pikachu. Oh. Did you find yourself a little friend there? Aw, that's cute. Okay. I'm gonna go up here and talk to the chairman. I think he's the chairman because he's sitting in a giant chair. I don't know. I chair the Pokemon Fan Club. I have more than 100 Pokemon. I love them all. I'm very fussy when it comes to Pokemon. So... Did you come to hear me brag about my Pokemon? Yes. Good, then listen up. My favorite Rapidash. It cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh, yes. It stunning, kindly, love it. Hug it when sleeping warm and cuddly. Spectacular, 
ravishing. Oops, look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. And for that, guys, we listen to his awkward speech and we receive a bike voucher. Exchange that for a bicycle. Don't worry, my fear will fly me anywhere. So, I don't need a bicycle. I hope you like cycling. Now we can take that, and you know that crazy expensive bike shop back in the other city? Well, we can go back and get that whenever we feel like. I'm not going to do that quite yet. So, she says you have a Thunder Badge, you must be a good trainer. So maybe it's finally time to get that Squirtle. Nice! And we're going to give that a nickname. Let's see. Now, I, I love Squirtle, guys. I don't want you to think this nickname means I don't love Squirtle. But this is just a very highly requested nickname. So to please you guys, I'm going to be naming a Pokemon Crudbutt. There we go! Now, it's time to move on over this way. And there's one more thing I want to do before I end this episode off. And that is to go through here. This is the Diglett Cave. Hello? What a surprise! Diglett's dug this long tunnel. It goes right to Viridian City. Indeed it does. So in here, all you are going to find are Diglett. And you might get lucky and find a Dugtrio as well. But there you go, there's a the little bugger. So I'm going to go ahead and try to catch one. Why not? Might as well add it to the, uh, to the team. Uh, let me see if Horn Attack will kill. I really hope it doesn't. Diglett does have the lowest, one of the lowest HP stats in the game. Okay, so I killed it. Not a huge deal, though, because, once again, you can only find Duglet, uh, Diglett and Dugtrio here, so finding another one is pretty much guaranteed. There you go. Uh, I could try just catching it straight up. I'm not going to use it on my team, so this one being level 15 does not matter. Let's just go ahead and chuck a ball at it. I have 20 of them. Holding down that B button. Come on! One, two... Ah, uh, not quite. You know what, guys? I think... Maybe if I swapped over to... Uh, no, Thor's too low. You know what? Let's try Crudbutt. Let's see if Crudbutt maybe has bubble. That might hurt them a little bit. Let's see, they're gonna go ahead and use Scratch. I don't think that'll do too much. Only eight damage. Yeah, let's use Bubble and try to weaken them. Come on, Crudbutt! Yeah! And that does barely anything. I'll try to get one more in there before I faint, and then that, that might give me a good chance of catching it. Critical would be great here. Ooh, it got a critical! Nice! Okay, let's go ahead and use that Pokeball. Holding down the B button again. Crud butt might just be useful. And there is the catch. Yeah! Diglett is a mole. And it's one of the shortest Pokemon. Only like, what is that, 8 inches? I don't know. Or 0 0.8 inches? So I'm going to give this a nickname, guys. Now, I know I've nicknamed other Pokemon this before, but I think this is just a very fitting nickname for Diglett. If you just look at him. So, okay, we're good here. I'll probably just cut out the rest of the random encounters, since you guys just know it's going to be Diglett. I could use Repel, but this is such a short area, it's not really worth it. Hey, we made it right through. Hello? I went to Rock Tunnel, but it's dark and scary. If a Pokemon's Flash could light it up. Yeah, Flash is definitely something I'd like to have. And here we are on Route 2. This is back into the start of the game. That right there is the entrance to Viridian Forest. Or the exit. What? Is that the entrance and the exit? I don't know. That's creepy. But I'm going to go down here first. There's some things I want to do up in Pewter City as well. But first I'd like to come down here. A fainted Pokemon can't fight, but it can still use moves like Cut. Thanks for the info, bro. But this guy here. I'm looking for Clefairy. Want to trade one for Mr. Mime? Yes, I do. So I'll trade him my Toot Fairy. What? That's not Clefairy. I evolved it! Oh, crud! Gosh dang it! Um, well, never mind, guys. I cannot trade him a Clefairy because I was a doofus and evolved it into Clefable. Well, but... I guess I'll... Duh, whatever, man. Well, he was going to give me a Mr. Mime. I was not going to use it on my team, so it's not a big deal. I just wanted to get it for my Pokedex. But the thing is... Uh, evolving to Clefable gives me the same amount of stuff for the Pokedex. Anyways, I'm Professor Oak's aide. If you caught 10 kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an HM05. So, Psycho, have you caught at least 10 kinds of Pokemon? Yes, I have. Great, you've caught 21 kinds of Pokemon. Congratulations, here you go. So now we get HM05. That will light up dark areas, which will become in very handy in the near future. But down here, we also get an HP up. I'll probably sell that one as well. And here we have 
Another Moonstone, if for some reason I wanted to evolve another Clefairy, which I don't. And I think there's one more item down here. Not quite. Okay, so I'm going to go back up. And we're going to go to Pewter City, because there's a very good reason for that. Now, you could cut any of those bushes to get back into that area, but not really what I want to do here. Actually, wait. Do I have to? No, I have to go on the side of the building. Sorry, guys. Like I explained at the start of the video, I just woke up very tired. But I have to go up here to use cut. So let's go and do that right here. Get that cut going, brute root. Brute root. And over this way is, I think, where I want to be. Right here. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so now we're back in Route 2, which is leading up to Pewter City. And earlier in the, in, the, in the game, or early in the series, I showed you guys a little tree we can cut. And I said, remember this one, because I'll come back here later. Well, now's the time I'm coming back, because it is right there. We can now cut it down. So let's do exactly that and see what we get for doing so. So I can cut that down, and I can walk over right into here. Hello! We are proud of two fossils of very rare prehistoric Pokemon. Okay. You can't sneak in the back way. Oh, whatever. Do you know what Amber is? Uh, it's a person's name. There's a lab somewhere trying to resurrect ancient Pokemon from Amber. Ah, okay. Shh. I think that this chunk of Amber contains Pokemon DNA. It would be great if Pokemon could be resurrected from it. But my colleagues just ignore me. So I have a favor to ask. Take this to a Pokemon lab and get it examined. And for that, guys, we get the old Amber. That'll go along with our Helix Fossil and will be useful much, much later in the game. So there we go, guys. That is going to be it for this episode. Next time, I'll meet you guys back in Vermilion City, and we'll fight some more trainers over there. So, see you guys then. Take care.